All right, thanks for watching. And let me ask you a really cool question. How many truth tables are there? The reason it's really cool, because it might give you perhaps the biggest number you've ever seen in a discrete math course. Now, what is a truth table? Just to remind you, so for instance, let's do the case with two uh, statements. A truth table with two statements is a table that accepts, again, two statements as an input and gives you a certain output. For instance, let's draw the table for P and Q. The possibilities for P and Q are true, 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 false, false, true, and false, false. And for P and Q, it's very stringent. True and true is true. True and false is false. False and true is false. False and false is false. Press F for false. But the whole point is, with different possibilities, you get a different truth table. For instance, if I tell you true, 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 false, another combination, that's P or Q. If I tell you, I don't know, uh, true, true, false, false, that's just P. Or even worse, if I just tell you all Fs, that's just the false table, the one that just says, no, I'm false. Yeah. But now the question is, how many of those tables are there? And the, the thing is, the, the, um, what's called, um, the key to this problem is, just figure out how many rows there are. Notice, here we have four rows, and for each row there, is, there are two possibilities. True, false, true, false, true, false, True, false. So in other words, we have two possibilities here, two possibilities, two possibilities, two possibilities. And as I said, one choice would be true, false, 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 and that would be P and Q. And therefore, notice the number of possibilities is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, which is 2 to the fourth. And therefore, in general, the number becomes uh, 2 to the something, where something is just the number of possibilities of rows. In other words, the answer is, for now, and we'll improve this, it's 2 to the number of rows. And now, let's count how many rows there are. Because 4, it's not clear what it... What, how it relates to P and Q, it might be 2 times N, I don't know. But let's illustrate this with the case N equals 3. Then we have three uh, statements, P, Q, and R. And notice for each of them, we have two choices. True, false, true, false, and true, false. So for instance, false, 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 sorry, let me do the opposite. True, 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 false, true, false, true, true, false, false, and then you just do the same thing with false, false, true, true, false, true, false, uh, false, false, true, and then false, false, false. So notice eight possibilities, which is precisely two times two times two. So 8 is 2 cubed, so the number of rows in general is just 2 to the n, where n is the number of um, uh, statements. So uh, number of rows equals 2 to the n, and again n is just statements. And therefore what's the answer? Remember 2 to the rows, so 2 to the number of rows now becomes, surprisingly, 2 to the 2 to the n. Ta-da! And again, in my opinion, it's very surprising because, of course, you have an interpretation of 2 to the n. It's like the number of possibilities of, uh, you know, n things where in each case you have two possibilities, but you never have an interpretation of 2 to the 2 to the n. 
but now you have one, it's just a number of truth tables in n statements. In fact, let me give you a really cool generalization of this. And that's if you know a little bit more set theory, but uh, there's something called uh, Alice 1. I can't draw this, but let's call it this, which is just the number of real numbers. So it's a cardinality of R. Then the question is, well, what is the next step? Is there a number strictly bigger than the number of real numbers? Yes, that's called Aleph 2, which is 2 to the R. And this one has a nice interpretation. It's the number of functions, actually functions, from if you want, r to 2, from r to 0, 1, which incidentally, and I have done a video on that, it's also the number of functions from r to r. So in other words, all the functions in calculus and really in any function you can think of from r to r, how many they are, it's aleph 2. And the question is, what is now Aleph 3? Is there a natural interpretation of that? Well, by definition, it should be 2 to the 2 to the r, which is very hard to visualize. If you want, it's the functions of functions from r to r to r. But in my opinion, it's not very natural. But using this, there is a way more natural interpretation it's really the number of truth tables in R variables. So suppose here, instead you have of having P, Q, and R, you really have a whole real line of variables. I don't know, P1, P square root of two, I don't know. Then the number of truth tables using those variables, it's precisely Aleph 3. So 2 to the 2 to the R. So it's a very neat interpretation. And that's all I can say about this, really. So if you like this and want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. 